Yeah, I thought it might be helpful just to see uh, a visual, a visual of some of the uh, <clears throat> things I was talking about in your in the last video about where to be facing, uh, trying to get a tiny bit of counter. Uh, put you up here against Josh, and hopefully, this, hopefully this could help. Um, you're both coming through the transition, facing you know the same way. As we get to the turn, you can see you are starting to turn upper body in the direction of the turn right away. What, what's Josh doing? Well, he's got a little counter rotation. As we said in the other video, he is facing his outside ski tip, All right? That allows him to really press hard against the outside ski, allows him to roll them up without flattening them out, All right? His hip is more pointed or his back is more pointed up the hill. His butt is more up the hill. And yours is going to kind of rotate, you know, a bit as we've been talking this way a little bit, flattening the skis out. And you can see how you're, you know, losing that, that ski it starts skidding on you. Did a better job there. That, that's that's much better. That's where you really want to be. You know, you're facing more down the hill, facing the downhill ski tip. That's a good job. You can see right here, you're already already starting to twist into the direction of the travel. You can see where Josh is pointing is really going to be pointing to his outside the, to the tip of his outside ski is where his upper body is is pointing it allows him to be in a strong you know kind of body position to stand on the outside ski oops don't need that I think you're going to see here how he's going to remain. Because it wasn't a big turn here. He could really have zipper down the hill like in slalom because it wasn't a big turn. You can see how he's, he's facing down the hill. You know, you've rotated and are looking out that way. Thus... The hip rotates this way, the skis flatten out. You know, his his butt is still pointing, you know, kind of up the hill where we want it, if we can. All right, so he's able to really put the skis up on edge and pressure the outside ski. So I hope, you know, this helps. Do I expect you to all of a sudden say, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll ski like Josh. He's not, not, not right away. But I hope this visual helped see kind of the things, you know, we're talking about. All right. And again, you can see how it's, you don't have a lot of upper lower body separation, right? Because you're, it's all one unit rotating. And you see him here, he's going to have a lot of, upper and lower body separation. And then with those kind of angles, but again, he's, you know, he's facing where? Really facing the tip of his downhill or outside ski. So, I hope this helped, but again, we want to really work on upper lower body separation. The javelin turns I mentioned is would be is a great drill for you. We're going to raise the inside ski, cross it over the downhill ski tip. That really forces a little bit of counter, keeps you square, keeps the hip in the right position, right? So you should be doing those 
anytime you can, if we're going down, you know, I don't know, whatever, Long John, you're, you're on a cat track going somewhere, gentle terrain, uh, your warm-up run on gentle terrain, you should be doing those all the time. 